Hey guys, Colin Carty here with OC3 Programming. We're gonna go over each open workout each and every week, so we're gonna try to help you guys out. I've got Nick behind the camera. He's gonna help with some mobility issues, uh, some warm-up ideas, and then we're gonna go through the workout, go through some pacing, and hopefully helps you, hopefully get you through the workout as best we can, okay? First thing, 19.1. We've got 15 minute AMRAP, 19 wall balls, 2014, and 19 calorie row. We do plenty of these throughout the programming, especially these combo together. Should be a fun workout. All right, guys, Coach Nick here. Like we said, we've got 19.1. We've got a lot of squatting going on, a lot of hip hinging with the row, and some pulling as well. So we're gonna open mobility that'll get us there. First thing we got for our ankles. Go ahead and take a heavier green band, usually if you're using rope equipment, right on the front of your ankle here. I want you to walk it out till you get good traction on the front of your ankle. You're gonna go ahead and take a knee. From here, take a kettlebell, moderate weight. This is a 53 green right here. We're just gonna go ahead and get that knee over our toe. Figure out which areas are tight on you and go ahead and make circular movements to make sure you're getting loose in all those ranges of motion. All right guys, second mobility exercise is gonna be for the shoulder. So when we're catching that wall ball, we're gonna use a lighter green or a lighter band than we did in the green. Step through that with your foot, hand through. We're gonna press from there. So elbows in just like your wall ball would be. Press at the top, press at the bottom, okay? I want you to do 20 reps on each arm Make sure you're ready to go for those presses when we get there in the workout. Guys, our third exercise today is gonna to be a banded hip opener. So we're gonna take that same green band we did with our ankle, get it on top of the rig. Go ahead and lay down from here. What you're gonna do is bend this inside leg and we're gonna aid that stretch with a plate, okay? So lay that down there, go ahead and relax, just like that. I want you to hold that for about 30 seconds on each leg. If you need more to open you up, that's fine as well. Let's talk warm up. So we've got a longer duration workout here. We've got 15 minute AMRAP. You may remember how 18-1 felt last year as we talked about how we wanted to build intensity as we went. 15 minutes, you should be feeling pretty good around that eight, nine minute mark to where we can kick it into high gear when we need to and finish strong those last five to six minutes. That's gonna happen in our warm up. We need to make sure all of our pathways are ready to go and that our heart rate is at a sustainable pace so that when we get on that rower for the first time, we're in a good groove and we know exactly what we need to be pulling to get that fan moving. Colin's gonna talk about some paces later, but in your warm up, I do want you to feel that out, feel where you're comfortable and where you're not spiking your heart rate too much. Okay, so a couple things to worry about here. I want you to really focus on using your legs on the rower and staying connected with this dumbbell as we go through the warm up. We're gonna go three rounds. 10 calories on the rower, 10 dumbbell single arm thrusters, okay? So we're gonna go five on our right, five on our left. On the rower, I want you to focus on really pulling right to your chest with a tall chest so that your arms are all the way straight every time we row, okay? We talk about this a lot, but to be efficient, we need to be long. Long in the front, long in the back, okay? So remember, 10 calories on that, then we're gonna get to the thrusters. Put that thing on your shoulder just like you would a wall ball. Elbow up, chest up so we can breathe. We're gonna hip hinge back every time that we squat to initiate our posterior chain. Remember, keep that dumbbell connected to you just like you would a wall ball so that we can drive that off us with as much efficiency as we can, okay? Next up, workout strategy. Some things here to hopefully help you guys get through this workout as efficiently as possible. Number one, pacing, gonna be extremely important. We've, so we suggest here that if your 2K pace is around about a 145, then we suggest rowing about two to three seconds slower than that for your pace for that 500. So you're gonna look at about a 147 pace, 148 pace, which is gonna equal about 1250 calories per hour. That should keep you pretty smooth throughout the duration of this workout with the ability to pick it up in the end. Next, going on to transitions. This is gonna be very important. You're getting in and off the rower a lot. You're picking up the wall ball a bunch. Keep that wall ball and those rowers nice and close together. Keep the foot straps open so you can slide right in, slide right out, and then also make sure we're covering in between. Taking a nice deep breath, slowing that heart rate down before we grab that wall ball, trying to go unbroken on those wall balls. Next, 
damper setting. This is more preference than anything else. I like mine between a five and a seven, and that's what I suggest to all my athletes. Anything really over a seven, you're kind of wasting energy. Anything below, and it's just you're just pulling too much. So between a five and a seven on a calorie row will set you up nicely. Next, especially on the rower here, you can lose it early. Do not go out too fast. If you're going out at your 1K pace, something that's way too fast, it will catch up to you eventually. We all know how getting on the rower can catch up to us. I promise you this is one of those workouts that will. But what you can do is win it late. You can come from behind in this workout. It's one workout where if you save enough energy and if you pace correctly, you can win it late. I promise you that. Finally, an easy one to redo. This one is going to feel good. It's not going to knock you down. It almost will be some sort of a little bit of a recovery workout like we've done before. We've done many of these type of workouts, tons of couplets with rowing and wall balls involved. And I'm telling you, you guys, you guys will do great. You are prepared for this. I promise you that. Any questions you have for us, please drop a comment, email me, call me, let us know. If you need any special uh, help, we're here to help you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Attack 19.1. Have fun, guys.